Everybody, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Music Messa 2013 in Frankfurt, Germany. We're at the Leather Guitars booth talking to Georg Bass, who is the designer of a couple of guitars we're going to see here. You have many guitars, but we're looking at a couple. Georg, tell us about this one. Yeah. Hi, everybody. First of all, uh, what Jürgen played was the Nature Edition from the Samaria series. The Samaria series is a further development of what's a standard Les Paul shaping. Uh, has these cutting edges here and what you can see it's covered all in leather. I think this is the first visible issue um, that it's makes it different from the other guitars that you see here in the complete trade show that I work with different materials with leather, with carbon, with gold, with everything a custom shop has to have to have satisfied guitar guitarists. Um, the Nature Edition here uh, comes with a Bixby, comes with TV Jones classic pickups. Um, with my own leather knobs I developed and have as a replacement part already, all in mahogany with leather dot inlays, shallow mechanics. Yeah, I think this is the main, the main points of the setup. Okay, now tell us about the bridge a little bit. It looks like it's two pneumatic style, but are those uh, graphite saddles? Yeah, or? yeah that's correct. Uh, we choose this setup here um, just to give this edition uh, the final rockability sound and, and the specifications. The other ones go more into the rock and blues stuff line. And um, what I wanted to show is that the Samaria fits with quite every setup you can imagine. I don't care if you need a Bixby, if you want a vintage tremolo, if you want a hardtail on that. Um, the concept makes it possible to do whatever you like on it. Cool. Jürgen, let's hear a few different sounds out of that, the different pickup positions and stuff. So we're on the bridge. Thanks, Jürgen. Now, I should point out that, um, you know, people are used to hearing TV Jones pickups and more of a rockabilly or roots rock type yeah. sound, but you guys are going into a Boss GT100, so you've got a little more gain. And uh, tell us about the amp we're hearing it through. Um, yes, about the amp I can say uh, it's not my own distribution here, it's just from a friend of mine located in, uh, in a town near my hometown. Uh, who could not be able this year to be part of the trade show. So I said, hey, come on, my booth is crazy enough to bring some different kind of amps with me, like the uh, combination here you see on the front. And the brand of amp is? The brand is Felleretta. Felleretta.de, I guess, um, from uh, Andreas Feller, very nice guy who makes all the designs over them, um, builds them completely, even custom made with vintage sounds, modern sounds, whatever you like, completely handmade. And this is why it also fits to me, because I'm also here with my brand, going to make everything handmade in Germany. Cool. Okay, Georg, so the second guitar we're looking at, you said you just barely finished? Yeah, it was just finished right before the trade show. So it's still hot from the workshop. <laughs> um, this is also the Samaria series, but this time in a very different look. Um, very, very high value made with carbon fiber optic. Um, not in the too technical way as you can see it in cars, but made a little bit human. Um, now that's, that's just underneath. Now is the carbon fiber just the stuff we're seeing here yes. inside the goal? That's not it's the body is no, made no, of that. No, the body is again it's uh, mahogany in this issue, and we have an ebony fretboard. Um, the black gold concept goes through as we have on the back side um, the piano uh, finish. And we have on the back side also the leaf gold neck, as you can see, and the covers. The surface finish is done first with a, um, with a level of leaf gold, and on top of that comes the carbon fiber. Then it was with a little magic um, workaround, and has the, the, the lacquer finish, 
and in the end comes this for me very very fine instrument. Now the pickups are from a German company called Dead End. Yes. It's called Dead End, uh, custom made for this instrument. Um, with this, uh, maybe you can see it on the video with ebony covers on that, matching to the fretboard. Cool. Now, are they high gain pickups? Or what would you compare them to? You no, know, I wouldn't compare with high gain. It's more middle output, so we have a yeah intermediate, so you can rock it, but also you can go into the clean level and get some pretty good sounds. And what about this bridge? This bridge is from uh, a good, good colleague from me, from Frank Hartung, also German luthier. Yep. Um, here on the trade show, located next to me, is my neighbor. And uh, it's a special made bridge from his workshop. It can be bought as a replacement part for every other instrument. And for me, it was the perfect decision to take this bridge into this concept guitar. Now, is it a steel bridge or a brass bridge and it's just gold plated or? Uh, it's a gold plated uh, 24 karat, how to say it, yeah. Uh, gold-plated bridge completely. Georg, before we go, can you tell us the scale length on this guitar? Yeah, the scale length on the Samaria series is 24 and 3 quarter inch. Okay. And where can people go online to find out more about them? Yeah, they can find out more at uh, www.leatherguitars.com. Cool. And thanks. you can find me on Facebook if you like. Awesome. Thanks, Georg. Thanks, Jürgen. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. Don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel subscription so you don't miss any of our videos or music mess up.